Hello guys and welcome to JavaScript tutorial series. In today's video, we will cover one of the most important and bit tricky concept in JavaScript known as nested function and closure. So without wasting time, let's get started. Before starting our video, you should have a basic understanding about JavaScript function. So I already created a video explaining about JavaScript function. If you didn't watch that video, you can go and watch it from JavaScript playlist. Now let's start our video explaining about a nested function. A nested function or inner function is just simply a function that is defined inside an another function. In JavaScript, we can create a function inside an another function. Now let's start creating an inner function. Now here I already created a simple function with the name outer func which prints outer function onto the console. Now we will create an inner function inside this function. We will use same syntax as we use for creating this function like we have a function keyword with the name function name. I give the name as inner func. You can give any name to the function. Now we have parenthesis and curly braces. Now inside this function, I simply log inner function onto our console. Now we created an inner function in our outer function. Now I simply call this inner function now we have inner function name and parenthesis. Now I save and run the program. We have outer function and inner function into the console. Now if I try to access our inner function from outside of our outer function, like from global scope, now if I run the program, we have a reference error that our function is not defined. Because when we define something inside a function that is become private to that function and we cannot access it from outside of the function. To access inner function from outside of this outer function, we can simply return the function from our outer function. Like we have return keyword and our inner function name and semicolon. Now here I didn't use parenthesis after function name. I just simply use semicolon. So it will return the reference of the function instead of invoking it. Now here where we call our outer function, I create a variable called inner and assign our return value to it. Now I simply log inner value. Now our inner variable have the reference of inner function. Now I simply call our inner function with this inner variable which has our inner functions reference. Now if I save and run the program again, now we have inner function onto the console. We can treat our inner function as a normal function as we can pass a parameter or a return value from the inner function. Here simply pass hello world to our inner function and return the same value from our inner function. I create a parameter called message and return the same. Now save and run the program. Now we have hello world onto the console. In JavaScript, we can have multi levels of inner functions. Now inside this inner function, we can also have another inner function. So I hope you understand the basic of nested function in JavaScript. Now let's understand the closure in JavaScript. Now I will create a variable inside this outer function called count which assign a value to the 10. Now I just simply remove these parameters and in the console log, I will just simply print this value of the count. Now from here, I just comment this console log and call our inner function. Now question is what value of count will be printed onto the console? Is count is undefined or a 10 will be printed onto the console? Traditionally, what happen is in the function, when the function execution get completed or finish, the variable inside the function gets destroyed. Like here, we called our outer function and this outer function execution gets terminated and it returns the reference of inner function. Then we call our inner function. Now that's create a question that what value of count will be printed onto the console. Now if I save and run the program, now we have the value of 10 to be printed onto the console. Now here closure comes into picture. Closure allows inner functions to remember and access variables from outer function scope, even if the outer function finish its execution. In technical term, inner function can maintain its lexical environment of surroundings including variables, parameters and functions. Now if I change the value of count here, count equal to 20 after the function definition, so what will the value of count will be printed on the console? It's 10 or 20. Now if I save and run the program again, 
Now again we have a value of 20 because inner function always capture last state of the variables from outer scope. The vice versa is not possible like if I declare a variable inside a inner function like a equal to 20 and access it from the outer function. We have an error that a is not defined in outer function because when we define a variable inside our inner function and it is a private in that inner function so it cannot be accessed to, from outside the function but when we talk about the closure we talk about the inner functions access the outer functions variable you should have remember the difference that how inner function can access the variable of outer function but vice versa is not possible in javascript the closure can be used to access private variables of the function and maintain the state of the variable like here i create a simple function i will remove the inner function i will rename the outer function to counter function and assign counter variable to zero and here i return a count variable which always incremented by one every time we call the function like i want to increment counter every time we call the function like first it will print one then two and three four and continue so i will call this function console log now i call the counter function now save and run the program we have one printed now if i call this function again now we again have one value because i already talk about that when function finish its execution the variables get destroyed so when we call fun counter function every time the count variable assigned to zero every time we can set our count variable as global variable now we can have our dedicated result like 1 2 and we call multiple times it will increment it at every time the count variable is global and it can be accessed from anywhere in the program we want to create a count as a private variable i simply assign it inside the counter function now i simply create an inner function that will return our count plus value and we return that inner function Okay, now we now we return an anonymous function. Now here I create a variable called post and ink and call the counter function that will return our reference the inner function. Now if I try to call the increment function, now if I save and run the program, now we have one onto the console. Now if I call this function again. Now we have 2 again and 3 again. Now we can create multiple counters like we have increment 2. I can create a second counter increment 2 and we can call again in counter function. Now if I want to first counter to be incremented by 2 and second counter to be incremented by 5. We can do that. So now I just have to create a parameter like here I create a value and our count value must be incremented by this value. Now I call first counter. Now our counter incremented by 2 every time we call the function like 2, 4 and 6. Now we call the counter 2. Now if I save and run the program. Now our second counter is incremented by 5 every time we call this function like 5, 10 and 15. I hope you understand the concept of closure and inner functions in JavaScript. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.